Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? So today, I'm gonna to be adding the accent trims. I'm gonna be taking them off, painting them this matte red, start my red on black theme for the Jeep. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to take all this stuff off. I'm gonna show you how I prep the surface before I paint, and how I paint it, how I clear coat it, and how we get it all hooked back up. And then we'll show you what the uh, aftermath looks like so follow along it's not just as easy as taking this stuff off and spray painting it of course you could do that but then you're gonna run the risk of it looking tacky you're gonna run the risk of scratching it all the time and just looking like junk so there is actually a process to it let's get started these you don't have to unscrew them like to get your trim out your trim just pops out however i am not going to paint the bolts so i am going to take take them out and they're easy they just you get an allen wrench that fits and just unscrew them out. I'm gonna check it out, see what it looks like with them being silver on the red. Um, if I don't like that, which I'm, I'm thinking that I'm probably not gonna like that, I'll probably come back through and either hit those with red or hit those with black. Again, sticking with that red on black theme. So here we go, we'll go inside and I'll show you the washing process. So I already have the parts in Don Dish soap, hot water. I already came through. I'm hitting them with this 3M 400 grit wet sandpaper. You pick it up from an auto parts store. And all you're really doing is you're coming through, you're just hitting the plastic, taking off any oils, grime, grease, whatever else is on your part that's going to make it hard for the paint to adhere to. And kind of scuffing up the surface to give the, the paint a better surface. So we're, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me sand all these things, wet sand them in this soap. I'm going to give you a little time lapse. Enjoy it. It's going to be smooth. All right, all the parts have been hit. I'm just going to rinse them off. All the pieces are dry now. Um, what I'm doing here is I, luckily we just kind of picked up this pool from Walmart, so I got all these boxes laying around. What I'm doing now is just coming through, taking some really small screws that aren't gonna mess up the threading on the parts. Just pushing them through. And this is gonna hold the pieces on this cardboard box. And I'm doing that because I'm in South Georgia and it's humid down here. What I don't want to do is paint these and then leave them outside to dry with paint on them in the humidity. So I'm going to paint them and then I'm going to take them inside to, to dry off where it's a little bit more climate controlled. So as you can see, I just got those screws. I didn't screw them in. I just pressed them. You can even probably use nails. Um, and then on the AC vents, I just have the screws kind of pressed through those clamps and then into the box. And that way when I go to lift this box up and take it inside, I have all the parts there. It's kind of my own little painting prep surface. So we're gonna get started with the primer and then we will take the first coat of red paint. I'll probably put two or three coats. The first coat's gonna be really light. Do two or three coats and then hit it with the clear and then let it dry and let it dry completely between each stage. So the first coat is this primer, adhesion promoter. It says that it bonds the top coats to vinyl, plastic, fiberglass, and more. I picked this up from Advance Auto. They're pretty expensive on their, on their spray paint, but I kinda wanna make sure that I get the right stuff. Now for my first blast, the spray, I don't ever want the first blast to be the, going onto the pieces that I'm prepping so I'm gonna just take this cardboard box just make sure that it sprays even and not clumpy it's not clogged and then when I spray I'm gonna start from left to right in just a sweeping motion and I'm gonna stop each time I get to the right
Never gonna start it on the piece. You always just gotta think of it like you're, you just wanna cloud it. All right, we'll let that, uh, let that dry for a couple minutes. Then I'll come back and hit it with another coat of this primer, just nice and light. All right, so we waited a couple minutes. This piece is a dry. Come back in, hit it with its last coat of primer. I'm gonna make sure that you get around the edges too because that part is shown. And it's back in the Jeep. So you're gonna have to make sure that you get paint on that part. I'm talking about right in here along the edges. There is gonna be paint inside of these recesses too, but your bolt is gonna cover up a lot of it. That should be good for the primer. So we'll let this stuff dry and the second time and we'll come in and start putting the first coat of light paint on it. Start seeing that red start getting applied. And again, that first coat is gonna be super light. You're gonna probably see a lot more gray than you're gonna see a red. And then by the third coat, it'll be nothing but red. And then we'll hit it with that clear. And then last little tip, when you're done with your spray paint, if you want it to last and you still have a lot left, put your can upside down, spray it. And that's gonna seal it so that you're not gonna have a bunch of clumps up there on your nozzle. That's gonna keep it so that the next time you use it, it actually works. Okay, we let that dry for about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna start coming through and using this Rust-Oleum Custom Premium Lacquer Paint. Again, got it from Advance Auto. And don't forget that first blast. You want it on the surface, it's not the surface that you're painting. Just to make sure that you don't have any issues with it. Now I'm gonna start from a sweeping motion. Now this is where it gets real important because this is the stuff that that's going to show. You're trying to be even with it. As you can tell in this spot, it's probably got a little too close. down again because you're gonna have a short amount of time your cap can dry or your nozzle can dry you're gonna have issues and you're gonna have to clean it out with the needle and I ain't about that life right now so we're gonna bring this in set it up parts are dry time for the second coat all right still good See the second coat is going to cover up a lot of the gray, but maybe not all of it yet. And that's all right. second coat so far you kind of still see a little bit of the gray coming through but for sure by that third coat stuff will be completely red and then we'll move on to the clear all right third possibly final coat
So we're gonna let's see, we're gonna let that go, let it dry up, and then after it dries, we'll determine if I need to apply a fourth coat or not. But I'm thinking that it's going to be pretty good. And if that's the case, the next step will be clear coat. Last but not least, I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum Acrylic Lacquer Clear Finish. It's going to seal and protect, so it says, any angle spray with comfort tip. Let's put it on, probably do two coats of this. And just because it's uh, clear doesn't mean I'm not going to do the same thing I've been telling you guys for the last two cans. Start it out. Should be good for that first coat. Let that dry. And we'll come back and get the second and final coat. Alright, second coat. Second and final coat. gonna be it. We'll let that dry. We're gonna let that dry for a while. And then once it's dry, we'll get it hooked back up in the Jeep. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the bolts still being silver. And then if I don't like it, maybe I'll leave it, let you guys comment and let you know. I'll let you guys comment. You guys can let me know if I should paint them red, keep them silver, or paint them black. We'll go from there. I'll let you guys decide. All right, these have been drying for a little while. So I'm gonna show you how to put these back on. Here you see, it's, these parts just slide back in together. And on this, there's a second little notch. That just kind of makes sure that you put these back in the right spot so that your logos line up. You see there's that notch and that notch where it goes. And you just snap it in snaps in place so i'm already starting liking how the red and the black go together I'm kind of thinking that those bolts these bolts here are probably going to get painted black but i told you guys it's gonna be up to you you guys let me know so with these they just pop back into place just Make sure that they go in their grooves and throw these bolts back in or these Allen heads. And they, I mean, they don't serve a purpose. They're more cosmetic than anything. But you still want to be careful when you're screwing it in so you don't cross thread them. Get them to go in there straight. I don't know. I kind of like that silver too. You guys tell me what you think. Silver? Black? I think red would be too much. Don't say red, because if you say red, I'm probably gonna have to lie to you and tell you that. I know I told you to comment on what color you wanted, and I would do it, but I'm probably not gonna do red. So take red out. Silver or black? You guys decide. Well, everything's put back in. All the Allen head bolts are put back. AC vents are put back together. I think it turned out pretty nice. Of course you could just order new trim that's already got whatever color you want. But if you're a DIY guy or girl and like doing stuff by yourself, give yourself a project to do, Spend a couple hours doing something on your own. It's doable. Should hold up pretty nice. I think we did uh we did all the prep work right. We did all the painting right. We did the uh the closing pieces right, so I don't think we're gonna have an issue with it. I think it'll hold up just nice. If you don't like to do DIY stuff and you are looking for different colored trim, 
I'll leave a link below to where you can go and find it. Or you can just go down to your automotive store and buy some paint and do it yourself. You'll like it better that way anyways, because you gotta put your own touch on it. It's your Jeep, it's your vehicle. This doesn't just work for Jeep, it works for any vehicle that you wanna redo your trim. But I didn't like the silver, but I for sure like the red on black. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit that little bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos. This channel is going to have Jeep stuff on it. It's going to have hunting stuff on it. It's going to have outdoor stuff on it. Fishing, hiking, camping. If it has to do with being outside, I'm probably going to make videos on it. So stick around. More to come. Thanks. Oh, and thanks for all the subscribers I have already. I started this channel up earlier this year. I'm about to hit 1,600 subscribers, so thanks to you guys. Thanks for all the subscribers that are watching now. Um, tell your friends. Share these videos. Get, get them out there. The more, the more subscribers I get, the more likes I get on these videos, I mean, it really kind of pumps me up to make more. I never thought that this was actually really going to take off, but who would have thought? Who would have known? But it has. I'm going to keep going. So 